Good morning. So it's today we're at a Ford Transit 2012. And I think this is a 2.2 diesel. So customers complaint. The management light is on and the ABS light is on. So we've done a full scan using the launch. Very good on Ford's actually launch. So the ABS. The ABS is complaining about ECM. There's a fault in the, e the PCM. So <clears throat> probably the fault in the e ECM is bringing on the ABS light. But the PCM, which is the ECM, you know what I mean, uh, hits complain about the air intake temperature sensor, the mass volume airflow sensor, the mass volume airflow circuit range performance, and, oh, a crash occurred. So the story behind this, uh, the guy I'm trying to help here, said that there was a code for the airflow meter, the air mass meter, they replaced it, and there's still a code for the air mass meter. So I think they've disconnected at the moment, so we'll go and have a, let's see if they put any, before we go and reconnect it, let's see if they've got a substituted value uh, with, this, with air conditioning, yes, is it? Uh, no, it's not got air conditioning, has it? No, without, or oh, I think it would have, with EGR I would think so, <coughs> this is just a manual. Let's go here. Power steering. Oh yes. Right, so read fault codes. Retrieve. Just as we said. Here. I wonder if this crash has maybe took out a bit of the wiring loop. <laughs> I bet that's what it is. Hmm. Or impinged the wire. Uh, let me see. Read data stream. We've selected a few pids. So the ambient air temperature sensor, I'm not sure if that's another one or that's the one within the air mass meter. But you can see that the air intake temperature sensor is minus 40, so that shows it's disconnected. So that's quite good, that's the same as OBD would show. Mass air flow frequency, 16384, so that's... And that's good. That's exactly the same uh, as OBD, because that's actually showing zero. And we're revving the thing, so... Let's have a look at it, plug it back in and see what readings we get then. So indeed, it is disconnected and it's one, two, three, four wires. We're going to plug it back in. Click, uh, just a bit of look at the wire here. That looks original. I'm looking up here. Uh, is that just pipe work? No, is that part of a loom? That's just a pipe, I think. Bit dodgy. Just a general look about. Nothing else untoward. He goes underneath that cover. And it runs along that loom along there. Let's just see what figures we're getting. Plugged back in, and you can see we're actually getting figures here. Frequency, air intake, eight. So these are working. If we rev it, so you take it up to two and a half thousand. These figures look okay. So it must be a. <coughs> Let's go back into the codes then. Maybe need to drive it and see what the original fault code is. So if these come in order in which they occur, it's complaining about the air intake temperature sensor first. But, I'm not too sure. Unless, I think it's the clear the DTCs here. So, the lights went out. I've got nothing. Nothing. Data stream. Just an observation is before we take this to drive. I don't know what the code, the original code was, but see this air charge temperature sensor, 114 degrees. Now that's in the intercooler uh, pipe work. So as I rev that, you'd, um, you'd think that would go up, eh? Then I have 114 degrees centigrade. Nah, 
it's not going to be that, is it? There was a problem with them, with the wire, and it was about like 10 inches for the sensor. This is, this is maybe indeed what the code is, but, hmm. Charge your temperature sensor voltage, yes. Take it a run. Maybe onto something here. So I just jumped into generic OBD. So, well, that one's not moving, but the rest of them are for the throttle. So you can see the airflow, that's moving. We agree with that. But this ambient air temperature, 215 degrees centigrade. That's wrong. Barometric pressure 100, yep. Correct, calculated load. Good. Catalyst temperature, that seems fine. Commanded DGR, that's good. Let's go to the next one. Uh, EGR error, that's zero. Engine cooled, 53, that'll be oil temperature, 58. RPM spot on. Engine runtime since DTC cleared, six minutes. Correct, engine right. Exhaust gas temperature, good. They're all good. Fuel level, into air temperature. 8 degrees, so that's on the air mass meter, we agree with that. Intake air, intake manifold absolute pressure, 102 degrees, 102 <laughs> degrees, KPA, that's pressure. Number of zero times the start. So I think that's our friend up there, it's a problem. That, and I think they've been chasing the wrong, they've been looking at the air mass meter, where they should be going for the intercooler pipe. I think this is where the confusions came from. Give it a run. You see that light came on. Exclamation. And uh, I took off uh, going up a hill. This thing is absolutely gutless. There's a severe lack of power. So <laughs> we've got major problems here. And you see that thing still at 215. So let's read any fault codes in OBD. Mass air flow, circuit range performance, airflow too high. So is that? It's going into default mode. So that's pending. So let's. Uh, mass, volume, airflow, circuit range performance, airflow too high. And too high. Snapshot data it says. So. External temperature from sensor 215 degrees. That oh, 215 degrees. There's something wrong here. Even that's flagging up to 215 degrees. Mass or volume of air flow. So it's actually no complaint about the temperature. It's the air flow. Need to do a bit of research here. But let's see the data stream. Air charge 112. I'm being air temperature. Boost. I wonder if it thinks it's too high because of the temperature. Yeah, let's clear the codes and take it around. Right, I've cleared the code and I've, I've got a graph on three pids. Engine RPM, mass airflow in hertz, 
I mean, that looks normal to me, 3,000 hertz idle. And mass hair flow, 15 at idle. So it's obviously higher up as a problem. But so that's a light on. So we're peaking at 150, that looks okay to me. I can't see nothing wrong with that. And the frequency is getting up to what? 7,500, you get specs. 4,000 RPM, and we're getting 150 grams. And this is a turbo engine, and the light's coming on. I cannot fault that. 150. I've got a 2 litre BMW and I'm sure that gets to about 120. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 150 to 4000. We can do a, a VE calculator. Yep. I wonder what the turbo boost pressure's like. Here's a here's a thought experiment. So if I look at well, we'll read the fault codes once again. So we've got these mass air volume codes, right? But we'll come back, come back, go to special functions, PCM service functions. It says reset the mass airflow sensor learn values. They could have done modifications to this. I don't I don't know what they could have done, eh? Remove DPF over boost it blank EGR, although I don't think they've blanked EGR. So maybe let's try resetting the learn values and see if we get a result from that. I know it's got another air mass meter in it, so let's try. So let's put the heat on, put the heater off, reset. reset. Carry out the service if I knew air mass meter. Okay, we'll say yes. Technician 2 on it is, okay. Okay, switch ignition off. Okay, okay. Let's come out of that, come out of that. Read fault codes, retrieve. Oh. Let's get the keys off. Okay. Nice. Retrieve. Let's just drive her. And see what she does. Works. The light's back on. <laughs> uh, let's come back here. It's right back even when you try to reset it. Right, look here, you can see the mass air flow at idle. See, with the engine idle, 842. It's now down to 8.2, say 5. Now that's because the EGR valve is now open. But they figures look great. Manifold absolute, uh, so that's 99, so that's just atmospheric. So I thought I'd maybe check the boost to see if maybe we're over boosting. It's getting a bit mixed up, and that's why it's uh, thinking that the air mass is too high. So the boost absolute pressure of the raw sensor, so you think that'd be pegged at maybe about four and a half. So let's graph the lot. A wee shimmy down the road. Oh, I've lost, <laughs> I've lost it. But see the the boost absolute pressure on for the turbo. It wasn't getting above four, so to me that seems good. That chasing was shutting off at the proper time. Uh, engine revolutions two and a half thousand. I mean they were all good. Hmm. Something not making sense. Still tracking this code. Now I had a bit look online, must be honest. And see this air ambient temperature sensor. I do not know where that is located about because the one in there for the air mass meter is the air, temp air intake temperature sensor. And we've also got one down the front of the intercooler I'll show you. And it seems to give problems. So 
I'll show you that, but they've already put another air mass meter on this. And this seems to be just a generic code, it doesn't specifically refer to it. So, see that, 215 degrees. Where the hang would that be about? There it's there in front of the motor. Now, I find the reading of that is perfect, but we'll disconnect it and try it because I'm running out of options here. There we go, the wire looks fine. Must I don't know how it comes out, it must be a clip. But that's reading 5 volts on the ground. Don't know. Right, I've drove that for about 5 minutes and the light's remaining off with disconnecting that charge air temperature sensor. So indeed, I think that's something to do with it. Hopefully. So you can see that figure there, ambient air temperature, still says it 215 degrees. And uh, is it a anti air temperature? That's in the mass airflow, that's showing 10. I mean, that's right. Another here. Nothing else here, so we'll just go into generic OBD, see if there's any codes. Display current trouble codes. I mean, that's disconnected, so you think there would be. So, nothing at the moment. We'll just keep going here. We'll certainly get plenty of oomph now. I think we'll be replacing that sensor. How it works, I do not know. This thing is driving perfectly now, so you can see we're boosting up to 146 grams a second, and uh, everything else seems good. Yeah, that's intake map. But that must be like a correlation code when it looks at the temperature of the air flow to the mass sensor. It's bizarre, so this is Saturday, so we'll need to try and get one on Monday. But seems to be a fix, so I'll keep you updated. So that's that one that's giving me a P0, what's that? What's that? 90 dash 00, zero into air temperature sensor 2 input high, but it's going better with that disconnected. And you see that crash ones came back again. Mm. So let's clear these codes out. Clear codes, menu, memory codes. So that one will come back. So there we go. Let's replace that. That will show you the data, what, what it's reading should be. Hmm. Air temperature charge, it's got 20. So you think it's maybe just set that itself? An ambient air temperature sensor, 1.6 volts. So you think that's that. So you think that would be. It's no 20 degrees here today, it's only 10. That's a default value. Let's get a new one. 